Previously on Hell's Kitchen. Devin, are you hostile towards me still? Devin was made to feel like an outsider after being nominated for the second time. I hate their little click. I'm gonna watch my own back because nobody else will. Welcome to the Hell's Kitchen Library. The next morning at the Ingredient Crossword Challenge. Crabs. Shayna got the protein she wanted. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Chicken, yes, it's versatile, but it's also boring. And the men. Onion. With the egg. egg. With the you egg. egg. At times, seemed lucky to get anything at all. The blue team as a whole, they're dumb as rocks. The teams only cooked with the ingredients they spelled. What are you making? Caramelized onions over steak to Worcestershire sauce. That is an awful sounding dish, but don't want him to go home. During judging, Andrew only scored two out of five. While Devin shined with a four out of five. Good job, Chef. In your face, Andrew. On the red team, Shayna's fried chicken. It's cooked to hell. One out of five. Shayna had pushed to make the chicken and then can't even cook it. How do you fried chicken? Scored so poorly that even Ryan's Asian-inspired chicken breast. The red team's best effort. Yeah, ball on me. Couldn't rescue the red team. Four out of five. I hate you, bitches. It was family night at Hell's Kitchen. Two, three. And Polly. Raw burger. Hey, all of you! Raw! That's raw! And Devin. Grilled cheese, it's just like dry cold bread. Had trouble cooking the kids' menu. You can't make them grilled cheese. That, to me, is just confusing. In the red kitchen, Aziza made garnish more complicated than necessary. Uh, Aziza, this is not normal. Wendy struggled with the lamb. Ice cold. And even dependable Heather delivered raw salmon. The 27th time, skin side down. Both teams lost. Get out of here. Yes, yes sir. sir. And not surprisingly. Bro, you up a grilled cheese. The blue team went after their favorite whipping boy. You're putting up raw food. You can you can yourself to you. At elimination, the red team nominated. Aziza. And Wendy. While the blue team settled on Polly and Devin. In the end, Chef Ramsay chose Aziza, who had to say goodbye to her dream of becoming head chef at Yardbird Southern Table and Bar at the Venetian in Las Vegas. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. A piss off. Yes, sure. Yes, sure. Yes, sure. Yes, sure. Thank you, Chef. I think this is like the kind of things that give you the perspective, that make you the champion. Oh my God, that was gut wrenching. Sometimes it takes a little bit of humbling down, you know, that black eye to be like, oh, I'm not the toughest kid on the block. Dude, I'm just not gonna, I'm gonna bounce back, but not just bounce back, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, keep your legs there, it's like a good pillow. I'm fine, it's keeping my toes warm. Oh, man. Thanks. You would push these things down. Can we take the bra off? I don't know what it is about Andrew. I mean, he's funny. I could talk to him about anything. Do your thing, boo. And it's hard to find genuine people who actually understand you and get your personality. Mm, that's gonna be bad. For who? Us. Why? All we're doing is laying next to each other. Me and Heather are friends. You know, we're out here enjoying the moment, and she's a good girl. So hey, am I gonna flirt with her a little bit? Maybe. Did you ever my boo? Mm hmm Not fair. Sorry. My name's Squish. You're on the outside next time. Okay. I get married in a couple months, so it's probably not gonna be a strong relationship. You let me go. Huh? Oh, not right now.
Everybody through the red kitchen right now. Let's go. He said be ready. What the hell? Uh -oh. Uh oh. Quick. Oh, Lord. Line up. Look at Marino. <laughs> right, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, morning chef. chef. Talented artists are incredible. Given the same tools and the same subject, four different artists will give you four different paintings, each with their own personal style. Tony, show us what you've done. Wow. What? Awesome. That wow, wow, wow. That's phenomenal. Wow. Damn. Greg. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Got a mad scientist looking. Totally digging the hair, chef. Let's see what Jess did. Wow. Awesome. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. That's amazing. And there's one more gentleman who <laughs> fancies himself as an artist. Here we go. Yeah! Woo! Nice, eh? Get out of here, Marino, please. <laughs> Thank you, Tony, Greg, Jess. They're all fantastic. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Wow. In many ways, we, as chefs, are artists. Uh, Tools are our ingredients. And uh, canvas is the plate, right? Yes, yes, yes. So, for today's challenge, we're going to put that theory to the test. Awesome. Today, all of you will be doing your own interpretation on southern dishes. Aaron, Andy, please. Man, I'm from the south. I am very comfortable with southern food. Underneath these domes are the names of six classic southern dishes. Right now, I'd like one chef from the red team and one chef from the blue team to stand behind each dough. The person that you're standing next to is the person you're going to be cooking against. As fate would have it, Andrew's the only one that doesn't have a red coat behind him. It's about that time to throw down with Andrew because he talks a lot of Right, let's see what you're cooking. Matt and Ryan, you're cooking. Fried chicken, chef. I'm a southern boy, so I got this. Where's my Baltimore? Coop and Heidi. Shrimp. Shrimp. Shana, let's see. Hang a steak. Southern yeah. style. Yeah. Paulie, Wendy. Ooh. Catfish, chef. Catfish. <laughs> Andrew and Heather, let's see. Pork chop. Pork chop. Kimberly and Devon, finally. Trout, chef. Everybody ready? Yes, yes chef. Your 40 minutes starts now. Off you go. Fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chicken. Uh, anyone see trout? We have lost three challenges in a row, and it's just pissing me off. I do not want to eat any more bugs. Yeah, it's actually quite nice, the texture. Oh, my God. I've had enough testicles in my mouth this entire trip to last me a lifetime. I just really want to win today. Have you ever fried a catfish before? In a deep fryer. How long does it usually take? You might need eight. Eight to ten, maybe? Yeah. Check it at six, though, make sure it's okay. I'm a little frightened. I'm really not familiar with Southern cuisine. I'm kind of a Yankee through and through, so I had no clue what to do with this fish. 10 minutes gone, 30 minutes to go, yes? Chef. Minutes, Chef. Chef. Let's go. Uh, southern seasoning, Devin, what do you think? Go spicy? Yeah. Yeah, give it a little bit of spice. Right over, like, a sh shredded mash with onions and peppers, yeah? Mashed potatoes, Devin, with southern. Make sure they're a garlic mash, though. Garlic, all right. This challenge is designed for our southern boy. My grits are still mad hard. I have time, right? Are they stone ground? Yeah. They're gonna take the whole damn time. But, uh, yeah, you got time. We got this. I'm taking the biggest chance doing this than I have the whole time we've been here. Why? What are you doing? Ceviche. Cool. Everything's going really good. All the mise en place was done. Mm, celery, 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 celery. All I gotta do is finish cutting this last celery stock. Ah! You need a medic? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. What's happening, bro? Come see. I gotta cut my damn fingertip. I'm starting to get lightheaded. He's right through the top of the nail bed. What happened? Oh, I was chopping through my celery and ended up uh, deciding to give myself a manicure. Yeah, feel great. Self Nightmare. I have to put more pressure on this right now so you stop leaking. All right with that? Yeah, I'm just getting hot. Just feel like I'm sweating more now sitting here. Unreal. Coop sliced his uh, nail off. Oh, did he? Chef, is he all right? They're starting to shake more. Sit back for a moment. How are we doing, bud? You good? 
Coop. Come on. Coop. Hey, look at me. Coop. Hey. Coop. Coop. Hey, Coop. 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 Come on. Coop. Hey, look at me. Coop. Hey. Coop. Coop. Hey, Coop. What? Coop. Coop. You right, bud? Coop. You back with me? <coughs> there you go. There you go, Coop. Big deep breath. Can you talk to me? Yeah. Where are you at right now? Hell's Kitchen. What the f happened? Don't worry. Blood pressure's fine. Take your time, okay? Take your time. Yes, sir. Good man. Uh, Blue Team, listen to me. Coop's not going to make it back. However, there's still five of you. Make five brilliant dishes. If you beat the red dishes, you're still going to win. Yes, yes chef. chef. Start plating, guys. Coming down hot. Five. Come on, ladies. Four, Counting down. Three, two, one, and serve. Let's go. To help me judge today's challenge, I have brought in a very special, unique chef who really knows these southern foods. His restaurant, Hot and Hot Fish Club, is unique. Wow. From Birmingham, Alabama, Chris Hastings. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you for having Welcome. me. I know this guy knows his southern cooking, and I'm worried about how southern my dish is. The best overall dish will also go on tonight's menu. Excited? Yes, yes chef. chef. Coop, how are you feeling? Ready to work. Right. Let's start off with the battle of the hangar steak. Johnny and Shayna. <laughs> chef Ramsay and Chef Hastings will judge the dishes head to head, with the best of each pairing receiving a point. The team that accrues the most points wins the challenge. Johnny, please describe the chef. Chef, today I have a spicy hanger steak over a bed of garlic hash with bell peppers and onions. A little nondescript, doesn't have any zing. A little bit too much blood on the plate. You haven't let it rest. Shanna, describe your dish, please. I did a brown sugar rub on my hanger steak with a classic collard greens and macaroni and cheese. The sear is beautiful. Uh, hanger steak's delicious. Thank mm -hmm. you, Chef. Spicy. That's a very good dish overall. Thank you. Clearly, Shana gets a one. Thank you, Chef. Point to the red Thank you. Shana! Well, that's Johnny. He's not the best. Damn it. Next up, the battle of the catfish. Wendy, describe this piece of chef. I made a spicy fried catfish with bacon pepper gravy, sauteed kale, and then the fried red potatoes. Wow. Beautifully cooked, crispy. Really like it. Paulie, describe the dish, please, the chef. I have uh, fish and grits with a little bit of cheddar cheese and manchego. The catfish is cooked well. It's crispy. The grits, fantastic. Two good dishes. I'm not opposed to giving a one and a one at this one. Chef, I'm with you. Um, I think you both deserve a point. Okay. Yeah. Great job. Thank you, chef. Uh, really good job. It feels awesome. Paulie got his point, too, but I got my point. Good job, Wendy. Good job, Wendy. Next up, Matt and Brian. Battle of the Fried Chicken. Ryan's take on southern fried chicken features creamy white cheddar grits and sautéed Swiss chard. The chicken is cooked well and seasoned well. I thought your grits were fantastic, a lot of flavor, delicious. Matt has prepared cornflake-crusted Cajun fried chicken with gravy and colored greens on the side. It kind of uh, reminds me of a diner. <laughs> Entire plate's under-seasoned. There's no magic to it at all. You should just get bored eating it. So. Your dish, though, Ryan, had a lot of flavor and clearly the winner. Hi, well done, Ryan. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Chef. Good job. This pisses me off, you know? He compared my food to a diner. And let me tell you what, that was disrespectful. Obviously, this guy don't really know Southern food, didn't have a country accent, so I don't think he's even from the country. Not even listening to it no more. Next up, battle of the shrimp. Flying solo. With Coop's sliced finger cutting him out of the challenge, Heidi is looking to score an easy point with her southern shrimp featuring cheddar polenta. I saute the shrimp with a Tabasco garlic butter sauce. Your shrimp, it's cooked properly. It just doesn't jump off the plate at me and go, wow, that's amazing. I don't know that it's worthy of a point. I'm underwhelmed. Chef, no point? No point. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 
Really? Come on. You went by yourself and you couldn't even get a point. Uh, next up, Battle of the Pork, please. Get him, Drew. Andrew and Heather. Let's go. Andrew versus Heather, a lover's quarrel. <laughs> pork edition. <laughs> please, describe your dish to Chef. Fried green tomatoes, pan-seared pork chop with a country-style gravy. Love the fried green tomatoes, but the pork. Unfortunately, it is dry. Andrew, describe this, please. It's a buttermilk marinated pork chop with an apple fennel slaw on top. I need this dry. Like the crust. I like the, what the slaw brings to the table. Uh, I thought it was very nice. Chef, you had to decide between Heather's pork chop or Andrew's pork chop. I think Andrew's the winner. I agree with you. Thank you so much, Chef. Good, Thank you. Good job. Welcome. Heather, you know how good I am? Why would you do this to yourself? Do you like boozing? Good job. Thanks, boo. Uh, last dish, the battle of trout. Devon and Kimberly, let's go. Come on, you're from the South, baby. Show them how it's done. It's the final face-off, and with the women leading by one, Devon must take the round to keep the men in the game. Devon, please describe this. A black eye pea secatosh with corn, uh, bacon, fried okra with a uh, corn milled trout and a roasted uh, lemon on top. Breading in the South is everywhere, but these are overbreaded. Devon, that could be any fish in there. Kimberly, describe a dish to chef. I did a corn flake and blue cornmeal encrusted trout with pecan and bourbon glazed sweet potato fries. Again, this dish is, uh, for me, too sugary. Fried food needs tart. And both you take your dishes back? Yes, over. chef. Uh, chef, if you had to choose, which one would it be? Uh, um... Oh, come on, Devin, you got this, buddy. I don't know that a good conscience could give them a point. So by the default of that, I suppose now we have the red team coming away with the victory today. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Red team, good job. Thank you, God. We are getting out of here. Woo! The best overall dish today. Wendy, congratulations. Yes, yes, yes. Wendy. There are not words for the joy in my heart, because I think it exploded. Chef, as always, my can't pleasure. wait to get back to the restaurant. Thank, thank you. Good to see you so much. Sure. Continue Good success. Luck. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Ladies, well done. Thank, thank you, you, Chef. Wow. You are in for a treat. All of you ladies are going horseback riding. Oh, yes. my God, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. And for lunch, I've arranged for one of the most popular food trucks from Los Angeles to drive all the way out there, wings and waffles. Yes. Oh, southern inspired soul food. <laughs> cool. Amazing. OK. Yes. Uh, come on, I don't want to keep the horses waiting. Get out of here. Well done. Big chef. Thank Good job, chef. Wendy. Oh, uh, red Woo. team, finally. <laughs> for today's punishment, you're going to be working on an incredible shrimp and grits appetizer. Now, the grits. Uh, unfortunately, they haven't been processed. Oh, man. You're going to be grinding thousands of tiny pieces of corn into grits. Time to get these to shine. Get it there, chef. I'm good with that. After that, you'll have to shell, devein, and clean hundreds and hundreds of shrimp. <laughs> Once that's done, <laughs> I need both kitchens prepped ahead of tonight's service. Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go. I cannot wait. This is amazing. <laughs> Welcome to Gibson Ranch. Thank you. Chef Ramsey wanted me to make cowgirls out of y'all. All right. Yeah. Awesome. I'm a country girl at heart, and I've been in the city for too long. Definitely the kick in the ass that I needed. I cannot wait. All right, ladies. Put your hands forward. Give them a little kick. We're going to head out on the trail. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think John wants to go first. My horse was named Big John. Whoa, John. Big John is named appropriately. <laughs> Whoa, John. Wendy is like really enjoying this horse ride. Oh, John. There's a lot of jiggle going on. Yeah, you're gonna feel it tonight. We're not going that fast, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> I think she misses her husband a lot. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> While Wendy's excitement for horseback riding continues, the men find that grinding grits is much less stimulating. Sweating like a church out here, chef. For hand grinding grits. They haven't done this since the pilgrims came over. Use your finger eye. Throbbing a little. It hurts more now than it did when I cut it. That burns. This is a kick to the confidence. 
Could be all right. I'm just pissed. I can't calm down, and I want to go back to the dorm and cry. I mean, I, what? I feel horrible. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Go. Great. Don't do that, buddy. We need ya. That's I take exception to that. Everybody cuts themselves. You don't just walk away and say, oh, that's it. You're not a man if you do that. He's the next one up, bro. He's mentally fragile. I'm emotionally drained. I truly am on that verge of not wanting to be here anymore. You might be down a guy for service tonight. Why? Coop's hurt. He's the next one out, bro. He's mentally fragile. I really, really want to finish this. My mind is there, but my body has, like, given up on me. Damn, Coop. Are you good? Hey, let's just win the service for Coop so nobody goes home, yeah? Yeah. There you go. Done. Wing to Waffle. Nice. Woo! Listen. I grew up eating this stuff. You could have the fine dining. I'll take the chicken and waffles and the macaroni and cheese and those collard greens any day. These are slap your mama good. Yeah, they are. Slap your mama good? <laughs> it means it's so good, I'd slap my mama good. That's it. It's everything I want so right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who rocked it today? Wendy. Wendy. Woo! Yeah, yeah. we're cooking by are. Today. I'm so stoked. Y'all wanted to get rid of me yesterday. You thought I was the weakest Link. And whose dish are we making? Hi. Wendy, Wendy. Yeah. 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 Smells like her dips. Yeah. Damn right. I thought it was horse poop. <laughs> Yeehaw! Hi, do you have hay on your ass? I'm sure I do. Back from a day of horsing around at the ranch, the women put on their chef's jackets and game faces. All right, ladies, let's do this. Ready to prep for tonight's dinner service. Ladies. I'm not losing service. Shay, how you feeling? I'm good. Ladies, line up, please. Yes, chef. Line up, line up, line up. I've decided to include two unique chef tables again here in Hell's Kitchen. In the Red Kitchen, one of the stars of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. What? No. Uh, Adrian Malouf is joining you for dinner. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> I'm a very intelligent lady and I like to read, but the Real Housewives is one of my secret guilty pleasures. Gentlemen in the Blue Kitchen, hmm, lucky you. Shooting guard for the Los Angeles Clippers, JJ Reddick. Oh, That's sick. We had JJ Reddick, which is pretty Awesome. I know him from Duke and I play for the Clippers. I was really excited to have him at our chef's table. Now tonight, another chance to bring your A game. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. Get on your stations. Yes, chef. Let's go. Reunion. See you, chef. Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Turn this up. First time was arriving, guys, yes? Tonight, both kitchens are looking to bounce back from the family night disaster and deliver to this full house of excited guests. The scallops, please. Chef Ramsay has added two southern dishes to the menu. Wendy's challenge-winning fried catfish. Just want them crispy, beautiful. Along with a shrimp and grits appetizer. Served tableside by Devin for the men and Ryan for the women. Enjoy. Thank you. Good to see you both. All right, All right, great game last time. Right, thank you. Thank Brilliant. You. And with Los Angeles Clippers player J.J. Reddick and Beverly Hills housewife Adrienne Malouf dining at the chef's tables. Uh, welcome. So Sit back and enjoy. Good excited. to see you. Thank you. There's extra pressure on the chefs tonight. VIP chef table. Let's go, guys. In your kitchen, yes? Yes, chef. Two risotto. Hey. Let's go. This is really cool. I got risotto. Matt and I decide he's going to stick with the pasta. I'm doing risotto and the pizzas. Does anybody need help right now? I got this all worked out. I know you're bored over there. What I, I'm not going to stand here, bro. Like, makes me look bad. What are we going to do? Cook risotto together like little boys? I mean, it's just like, come on, brother. Blah, hey. blah, shut up. Shut up. Risotto, where is it? Walking risotto. What's it? Very nice, that risotto. 
while Johnny shoots. I can eat another bowl of this. And scores with his risotto. Over in the red kitchen, Kimberly and Heidi are eager to get in the game. I know the four covers table 50, ladies. Yes, one special at table side, one cow salad, two carbonara. Yes, chef. Yeah. Carbonara is a bitch. I have yet to master it. Count down, how long? Carbonara is walking. Carbonara going up. Let's go. Good. I know stand the stem. Oh, sorry, just chef. standing, what do you want? A medal, sorry. an email, or what? Off. Drop it sorry, off yes, and piss yes. off, yes? Yes, chef. You're busy, right? Yes, chef. Let's go. Okay, good. Nice. Yes. We have the carbonara going out. We have everything flowing. Stunning risotto. Thank you. We're shutting the guys out tonight. We're going to win this dinner service. Keep it going, ladies. Okay. Uh, nice to cook those scallops. While both teams are off to one of their best starts, pumping out flawless appetizers. I think this is great. Do you like it? It's, it's delicious. Chef Ramsay is moving the blue kitchen onto their first. Entree to catfish to lamb. Hey, hey. Chef. It can go in three minutes. Catfish now, it's coming out. And I feel good. You know, the fried catfish, I feel like, is a good dish, as long as it's executed properly. Lamb, catfish. Lamb's walking right now, chef. I'm following behind you with two catfish. Walking behind, walking behind. Come on, guys. I got it, I got it. I'll make sure it's cooked. Wendy. Yes, chef. Wendy. Yes, chef. Who fried this? I did, chef. Come here, all of you. Because you all look at me as if I'm exaggerating sometimes. Just touch it. Is it soggy? Oh, God. He fried it off way too early, and it sat, and it went from beautiful crispy to a soggy mess. And Andrew, you can't cook that in advance. Yes, Chef. I don't mind you getting crispy skin on salmon. I don't mind the snapper. I don't mind that. But I do mind when fish is fried and left to go soggy Yes, I do mind. an hour into dinner service and after delivering some very soggy catfish catfish i have another one for you chef just hurry up yep andrew is looking for some deep fried redemption walking up to you now all of you come here just touch that it's beautiful that's where it's supposed to be that's a crispy chef there's no other way of cooking it and that is it yes chef with Andrew's fish station and the rest of the blue kitchen back on track. How did you enjoy Everything your main course? Everything has been amazing. Yes? Amazing. Back in the red kitchen, the women are delivering on their entrees as well. Shayna. Yes, chef. Beautifully cooked. Thank you, chef. Good job, Shay. Nicely cooked. Thank you, chef. Chef's table uh, red side. Chef table red side, yes. Uh, ladies, VIP guests, chef table, be careful, please, yes? Entree, three sea bass, one chicken. Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go, ladies. I'm a little nervous about Shayna. She hasn't been on a station by herself, and Adrian Malouf is five feet away from me. We can't get this wrong. Shay, how long? 30 seconds. The sea bass is ready. Give me the sea bass. Yes, chef. We have to plate it, ladies. Right here, I'm ready to walk. All right, walking with the chicken. Dry. Ladies, Shayna, come over. Yes, chef. Just touch it then. It's dry. It's okay, dry. It's yeah, it's dry. Didn't we just have a chicken challenge? But then I remember Shayna her chicken up in the challenge too. Thank you. Chicken, how long? Yours should be right up. Oh, sure. Thank you. Sorry, chef. I'd like to eat when you all eat, but that obviously that's not happening. Oh, Shayna. Hey, ladies. I've got raw chicken, overcooked rub free, now I've got pink. Sorry, Chef, I'm on a refire. I gotta honestly say, I thought it was done. I did not think it was raw. I would never send a raw chicken up. That dry chicken, now the raw chicken's for Adrian Maloof. It's our special guest on the chef table. Okay, Chef. And she's not very happy. It's taking so long. A normal eye. Sorry, Chef. Shay, come on, wake up. This station is totally putting our momentum down. It's hard to get back up right now. Is it ready? OK, let me go. Uh, I'll go another minute. Where is the chicken? That's all I want to know. Adrian Maloof has to wait like another 10 minutes for the chicken. I am so embarrassed for the red team right now. It's it's not a good thing. We can fire you on that chicken, chef. Nice and cooked. Let's go. Come here, you're taking this to her. Which one is she? She's the one with no food in front of her. I apologize. I'm so sorry. With Shayna's third attempt on her VIP chicken finally delivered. Worth the wait. And well received. Back in the blue kitchen. 
I'm one minute out on the garnish. One minute on garnish. Thank you very much. The men are blazing through their entrees. You're speaking. There we go. It's a reminder and it's a callback and it's a motivational thing, right? Yes, yes, yes chef. chef. Back in the red kitchen, Wendy is ready. Aim fryer on her catfish. She won't do catfish how long? All right, I got about three minutes on the catfish. Heard. My catfish dish is on the menu. This is my time to shine. The pigtails are away. It's all business. Catfish walk. To Wellington next. There you go, Chef. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, stop. 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 I f it up. Wendy, how do you get an A plus rating from Chris Hastings? Come here. Come here. And fail at dinner service. So the girls are starting to go downhill in my mind. It's called Hell's Kitchen for a reason. This is when I know things have gone absolutely up. And we started strong. We look good. Yes, Chef. That's completely my bad. It's my dish and I it up. I'll take full responsibility. Really? I know it's your dish, but it's just not you. Why have you given up? Where's the comeback? There's a chef table sat there looking at me like I'm an idiot. It's an hour and a half into dinner service. Things have gone absolutely up. And Wendy's inability to cook her own challenge-winning dish. That's completely my bad. But it's just not you. Why have you given up? Has landed the red kitchen in hot water. Where's the comeback? There's a chef table sat there looking at me like I'm an idiot. You're not an idiot, chef. We are. Sort it out. Start talking. I swear to God. I want you talking your head off. We're almost at a loss for words, and Heidi just screams at the top of her lungs. Communicate! Once you hit that decibel, I, I, I don't listen. Refiring. Yes. Two catfish. While the women regroup and refire. She's going to give me attitude, I swear to Coop on the meat station. Wellington. Wellington, one minute, chef. Is looking to deliver his first successful Wellingtons of the night. Oh, no. Coop, this is what we call crap in England. Oh, hey, blue team. I waited, I waited, and look, it's just fat still white in the middle. Who's timing these? That's me, chef. That's mine. Coop's had a couple bad services in a row. It's just that he's kind of skating by. Focus. The chef. While Coop tries to fix his Wellingtons over in the red kitchen. On order two twos, ladies, let's go. Entree, two catfish, two Wellington. Yes, yes chef. chef. The women are eager to show Chef Ramsay that their troubles are behind them. Kimberly. Yes, Chef. 41 desserts fire. Yes, Chef. I got to drop this temp on this Wellington. Oh, I got to pull it out, put it in your oven. When desserts start being called, we drop the convection oven so we can start cooking off the cakes. I need to put your Wellingtons in here from now. I'm dropping temp on the oven. OK. We just place everything else in the lower ovens, which everything's more easily accessible. You got the Wellington? I'm walking up. Not. Nah, uh, ladies, let's have a conference. So I'm a little bit miffed with just, just touch that. The dough's raw, Chef. No, you that, can see that, it. That, that's raw. That's still got white fat in there. That's overcooked. And that bit there is raw as well, so. My teammate messed this up. She took me out the oven and had me somewhere where it's I'm just out there now. Do you have two new ones? Shayna, are you putting more Wellingtons in? Yeah, I'm are putting you... more in. I would have had those other two, but remember, you had to take the temperature down. Shayna, that's We have one overcooked, and the other one is raw. That's not the oven. Um, I, over this I now. didn't take temperature down. I took them right from that oven to that oven. It was no, no, temp. no. No, I know, because you had to turn the temperature down. To be fair, we have been turning down the oven for desserts. But also, we've been a lot further through the entrees by the time we get to desserts. Kim. She needed to do this dessert. Is, he this told is the her to most do important thing. Drop one of those ovens down. Don't drop this oven now. You want to sit there and try to throw me on the bus because you can't cook me? you, Shayna. She's ready on refire. Are you ready? Yep. Garnish Wellington. Wellington is up. Two. I think Shayna is overwhelmed and is over our head at this point. There's no coming back from this. Catfish. Yes. Ladies. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. I swear to God. Raw fat. Raw 
cold, hot, ice cold, and raw again. Get out. I'm sorry, Chef. I checked it. I thought it was OK. You checked it. I checked it. Then the you heat. better get the lens crafter. Yes. Get out. Oh, my gosh. That scares me even more. I'm just devastated. I'm pissed at myself. I'm super scared because I know that they're ready to put me up. I know. I know in my heart that they want to get rid of me. I'm done, dude. While the women take a walk of shame to the dorms. I need to grab water before I kill somebody. The men Come on, guys. sense an opportunity. They got booted. Okay, guys, they, they just got, got booted. booted. Let's go. Everyone stay focused. Uh, they just got kicked out, didn't they? Hmm. Maybe we won this one. Happy for them to get kicked out of the kitchen. That's how it feels, bitches. Catfish now, it's coming out. Catfish from here, chef. Finally. Go, John, please. Thank you. Catfish is excellent. Crispy. Really, it's delicious. Catfish is good. Excellent. Last table. This is it, boys. Let's go. It's catfish is amazing. 30 seconds, chef. Garnish rising right now. Walking Wellington. Keep it up, dude. Service, please. Bang. Game over. All right, well, who wants to start this? I'm going to plead my case. I don't think it should be me. OK. I brought out that fist station all night up until the very end. Why don't you just vote for year two? I think that it should be Kimmy and Shay. OK. She didn't show up in the challenge today. Her plate was a mess. It's not the first time. And that Wellington did not need to be pulled. Kim everything with turning down that oven. And the weakest on the team is Shanna. I go just for tonight's service. It's supposed to be overall. It's not okay. just tonight's service. I, I'm basing it off both. Heather, Shayna, and Wendy. Between the Wellingtons and the catfish that came back at the end, that's what got us kicked out. OK, but Wendy, I mean, also had the best plate today. Based on tonight, I'm going to go go with Shayna. Kim, you're, you're in the bottom of my head, too. I mean, I feel like we have a connection. We have a connection. Shayna. I want a cigarette. If you're going to say I'm going up, I know it wasn't my fault. I deliver. Kim turned the oven down. Now everybody wants to put me up. Even though I didn't get anything sent back, I don't deserve to go home. And I want to say one very important thing. I had to start desserts. We always have done this for three weeks. Hold said, on. No, no, no. Hold, let me finish talking. No, but I'm telling you, when, hold I'm on, not a condom person. So I'm stopping you because I'm not about to argue well, with you about I'm, it. I, I heard you. you argue about me. I'm telling Yo. you, I'm pissed off. You tried to throw me under Listen the bus, and it's not fair. I didn't throw you under the bus. After losing dinner service, I had to start desserts. We always have done this for three weeks. Hold said, on. No, no, no. Hold, let me finish talking. No. Kimberly and Shayna continue to disagree about Wellington's being moved from one oven to another. I'm telling Yo. you, I'm pissed off. You tried to throw me under Listen the bus, and it's not fair. I didn't Throw you under the bus. So I told you what I told her. To me. Now I'm not gonna argue with you, so calm down. Wow, what a shock. Heather. Yes, yeah, Chef. Red team's first nominee and why? First nominee tonight is Shayna. Meat station went down in flames tonight. You had two Wellington come back, and it was just a disaster. Kim put my Wellingtons in the oven up under me, and the two that you got that were messed up, they were only messed up because they were in the oven up under me. I would not take something that I didn't put in the oven and take it out. Why would you do that? You understand what I'm saying? Why didn't saying? you tell me it was wrong? I don't, I'm not going to argue in the kitchen. The last thing I want to do is you to come over and me and her and go at it. I'm not going to do that to you, Chef. Why didn't you say no? I don't just do told that. you why I wouldn't tell you, because I'm not going to argue with you. But Everybody here, you. the blue team, can vouch for me. And just true. take a consensus and see if she would have just sat quiet. She keeps going, going. Going. But you never I'm not, said I don't want to do that. I'm She's still going back and I'm not going to do it. So I'm good. I don't want to argue either, Shane. But I wasn't to blame for, for the <laughs> up. Heather, Red Team's second nominee and why? Red Team's second nominee tonight is Wendy. She failed to put out her own dish. And overall, she gets flustered easily. Wendy, Shana, step forward. Wendy, it was your night to shine. I held down that station all night. 
I was trying too hard to finish off the last two tickets of service and rushed myself and f myself. Shayna, what happened tonight? Honestly speaking, you only came back with those Wellingtons that were in the oven. It was the only thing I messed up. Heidi. I'm flabbergasted. She had raw chicken. She apparently forgot about that. My decision is? Wendy, take off your jacket. Your team, they have given up on you. Thank you, Chef. Wait, I haven't finished yet. Shayna, take off your jacket. After a night like tonight, I have to do something drastic. So both of you say goodbye to your teammates because you're going in the blue team. Matt, Andrew, get up and make way. Wendy and Shayna, sit down. Because you two are joining the red team. Get over there. And listen carefully. I'm hoping the change of environment will really help bring you back to your earlier performances. Yes, Chef. Now, off. I'm so stoked to not have to deal with the mean girls anymore. I am going to come back with a vengeful vendetta. I am going to personally try to slaughter them all. It's nice to have Andrew come in. We spent a lot of time together. We've gotten to know each other. Of course, feelings are there. I can't even describe how happy I am right now. I really feel like the red team lucked out. I mean, I feel like they got Chris Bosh and LeBron James out of this deal. I'm not saying I'm LeBron, but I'm taking my talents to the red team, so. Red team, ha ha, you can have them. Glad they're gone. Matt is hot tempered. Andrew is loud and obnoxious. The lightning is gonna strike. It's going to be a full moon during dinner service, and that kitchen is going to blow the up. In Vegas, shuffling the deck gives a gambler a new chance for a better hand. I'm hoping this switch doesn't end up being a bust. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. Everything I say, you guys twist around. Will the shuffling of the teams. Welcome with two scallops. You don't need to re-examine them. Stevie Wonder knows that. Come back to haunt Chef Ramsay. You're just dumping on top of on top of This is insane! Creating bitter feuds in both kitchens. You're killing me on this! You should just let me go down? You guys came on to do me on our own. No! Things are about to get heated. What am I supposed to do? I don't care! Johnny wants to take the spotlight off of him, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna kick the girl! And unhinged. I did not say I gave up! Next time on Hell's Kitchen. The mystery deepens and the scares get even bigger. An all-new episode of The Exorcist starts right now.